Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach cricket scoring system using Java. There are many students who ask me to do the system step by step for the cricket scoring stuff, right? So that I have made this system. So these are the uh, numbers, right? So let's see the demo first. So this is simple demo. If someone put no ball, white ball, one. No ball, one. If someone had six, select as six. If someone hits 4, if someone hits 2, this of the score will be work, right? Uh, very simple system. This is, uh, this system very suitable for who are uh, doing the tennis ball cricket. It's a simple cricket, you will be able to, this system will be work, very simple. So here it will be work here 3, right? It's very simple project, right? So let me see how to do this system step by step, right? So first, what I did here is, these are called as radio buttons, right? First, we have to. Uh, I'm. I'm not going to design this system, right? If I going to design this one, it take too much of time to complete the design. So that I already designed the system, right? So this. So this is called as labels. These are the called as labels, right? Okay. This called as radio buttons, right? I have just dragged the radio button from the palette, and this is called as panel. First, I have put one panel inside the panel. I have dragged the radio buttons right this is called as radio button this is radio button here this is the radio button i have dragged the radio button over here uh, this one i just click click select and drag over here i have dragged eight radio buttons after that change the name so this first one select this radio button right click and change uh, edit text we have changed the name one this is two likewise we have changed the name each and every radio. After to change the name uh, of the button, text we have changed the text here. After that, we have to change the variable name. Okay. Okay. This one should be R1. This one you have to uh, change the uh, variable name as R3. This R2 like this. Okay. Radio. Uh, what is the variable name mean? This is the name we have to give give, give in our radio button. Right. Okay. Where when when you code, this is the name. Which, which it is easy to identify the radio button right here this is right click and change variable what the name you have put it this is r4 right this one should be the text edit text means we have to change the text okay what is the text you need, you need right this is how we have put the radio button we have to drag uh, six eight radio button after that we have to put all the radio button into the radio uh, button group that's very essential stuff right so there will be the uh, things here radio button group you just drag and drop over here if you drag and drop you go to the properties you can check here it will be select all the radio button or on the shift key down and select all the radio button like this go to the properties here this one should be the there will be the property called radio button there will be the property called radio button i have all the properties i have given as a radio button one okay here i have dragged two radio button groups Okay, this is all the things I have put into radio button one group. Okay, so then what happens is it, it all radio button will be uh, put into one box. Okay, like this. Okay, uh, uh, imagine you have a, a ten p uh, uh, ten piece, uh, piece of chalk. So you have put into one box like this. I have done here. Okay, you have a, uh, a chalk put into one box, right? Uh, a piece of chalk you have put into one box. So the same thing I have the, I have eight radio button have put into one radio button group right the, the, the group will be manage all the stuff right so what happened is after that what I did here is this is the code after that you have to write the code uh, so let's this one should be the button I have designed one button I have text it okay this one text okay right after this is a label we have to total this one should be another label this is a cricket. This is score will be display over here. Right. Now let's look at the code. Double click the OK button. You can check here. Okay, before that, uh, here once you run the program, I am forgot to tell one thing else. This one should be the metal design. Metal design mean before that, what you are going to do is go to the source, control plus F. Here you, you can see the fine uh, uh, text field over here here you have to type it ui you can get it over here you have to change this one as a matter 
Okay, then only you will get the actual Java look, metal me, right? So here, this is okay one, double click on this one. Here we have to initialize the variable value one and initialize the variable another variable dot, dot t equals zero, right? This is a variable one, this is a dot t equals zero, right? Now what I did here is if radio group one, radio group me, uh, one means this all the, uh, we have put into one group, which name is radio button, uh, group, uh, button group one, selection get dot get selection not equal null not equal null means if, if you are not selected anything sorry if you are uh, selected what happen is if you are not equal null means you are selected it is not null okay if it is not null you, you will be select one of these okay so if you are select one of these okay here now it will be all the things are null when you uh, run this program it's all the stuff are run right null okay so that i have put it here if it is not null if ray r1 selected means this is the name of the radio button which is a r1 you can see that r1 there are the predefined uh, property called is selected if it is selected value i have initialized i have a variable called value 1 get it here e called 1 i have equal into 1 so when the user select the uh, radio button 1 automatically this one will be passing to this variable the again the same thing like that r2 mean it will be 2 it will be passing to the value 1 here 2 here. if the radio button user selected 2 it will be that this 2 will be select, uh, passing the value 1 3 mean value this here 4 mean here 5 mean here 6 mean if the radio button the user select as radio button 6 it will be passing the value here right after that if it is 7 mean this radio button 7 mean what happen is this one should be the white ball this is a no ball white ball mean you have to you don't have a confusion white ball white ball mean 1 no ball mean 1 so we have to like this white ball 1 no ball 1 so here we have to implement that 1 1 1 1 1 that's how we have to write like this okay right r1 mean 1 r8 mean 1 so we have to uh, do this calculation look like this very simple attempt we have to make like this very simple one okay very simple after that what i did here is when you are calculate the scoreboard what happen is if you have click one click ok it will be one if it is click four it will be one plus four five it will be keep on increment the value how to achieve this we have to here we have created the variable dot t equals 0 after that we have to get the total equal dot the same total equal dot plus 1 what's the value you have selected plus 1 again you have selected the one uh, value again it will be adding keep on the value should be adding like this right after that we are passing where this value the the final total we are passing where we are passing into this label Right, so this label we have to name it as txt dot. Right, so we have right txt dot dot set text. We have a this total. The final total will be this. All the things are calculated. And final uh, total will be uh, assigned to this dot. We have to pass in here. Of uh, this one should be the integer value. This is not a uh, string. So that we have to convert this one. So how to convert string dot value of? This is the function we are using to calculate the uh, value and get the total string dot value of this is simple things we have uh, done this okay very simple one we have done this one uh, i hope you guys you understood things well if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching